The VGC is reporting that some third-party publishers are considering dropping Xbox support due to quote-unquote flatlining performance in Europe with claims that producing a Series S and X version of a game isn't worth the effort. What do you make of this? Is Series S really that much of a pain to develop for? With development costs increasing, you would think publishers would want to release on more platforms, not fewer. Uh, Oliver, thoughts on this one? Yeah, I think the size of the market is just smaller and it's not helpful that it's more complicated to develop for and it's also not helpful that there are you know two units out in the market right now one of them is significantly compromised the series s from from all that i've heard is a really challenging system to work with for some especially higher end games i also think that yeah. xbox customers are used to game pass and they're used to the free models in a way that playstation customers maybe aren't and and that does condition them to spend less money on discrete games I think ultimately the question would be, on a, on the financial side, what percentage of, you know, your audience is on Xbox? Is it 25%? Is it 15%? Is it 10%? And then also the size of your project, right? Like if you're looking at a big, heavy hitting game like Call of Duty, you know, of course it's going to be worth it to ship that on everything because the margins are, you know, the amount of volume you're getting is so huge. But for an indie game, like what we're seeing recently with some uh, developers that are choosing not to publish on Xbox, they have a fairly small market of players anyways, and maybe those players already own a PlayStation or a PC that could play it, and maybe it's just not worthwhile for them to ship a smaller game on an Xbox platform with all the additional costs that would incur. So I think it's a question of just the market economics of what makes sense there. And I think, unfortunately, those don't favor a console manufacturer with a smaller place in the market where, you know, 90% or 80% of the sales from what I've seen might be on other platforms. It just doesn't favor you in that position. Mm. John? Yeah, that's a, man, it's, just, it's a real tricky one. And it's hard to really speak without seeing the numbers directly, right? But obviously developers do have to make these choices. And I think it's just going to depend on the, the potential size of what the game is. Like, I think for big games, it still makes sense to absolutely ship on Xbox. But for smaller indie stuff, smaller games, that then the, I think the question rises a lot. If you don't have like a Game Pass deal lined up, I feel like the amount of work required to get it up on Xbox may not be worth it if the sales are too low. And I've, I mean, I, I have all I have heard stories of indie games that have sold like literally in like the dozens of units on Xbox, like very low numbers, where you're just like, oh, I probably shouldn't have bothered doing that, but. Uh, I think that's just like an indie thing. Whereas for like larger games, it's I think it still makes sense, right? Like there's, there's still a big audience there. It's not like the system has a tiny audience to address. There's still millions and millions of these things out there. I mean, games are still being made for the GameCube when that was like under 10 million compared right. to like the juggernaut that was PS2, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not nearly that kind of situation here. The Xbox, it's still... I mean, I'd still say this series has largely been a success, right? Like a moderate success. Um, it's difficult to tell at this point. There's so many negative headlines coming out about sure. flatlining hardware sales. But <sighs> when you look at the Xbox platform more holistically, it's it's really difficult to say uh, because obviously we're in a kind of transition point in terms of business models. I mean, it often gets uh, sort of mooted that the xbox ecosystem has more active players than it ever has um but that's because obviously a lot of it is um going to be uh game pass pc possibly so it's really difficult to sort of put a yardstick on success certainly on the console side though that which which kind of leads directly into this question yeah i thought that the concept of the gdk uh, which basically would in theory harmonize pc development across sorry, game development across PC and consoles would have helped a bit there. And certainly on the indie side of things, it shouldn't be pushing the platform that hard. Um, so it should run on Series S. But that, with that said, you know, we have heard a lot of um, stories about cutbacks that were required to a game to get it to run on Series S. Um, it's hard to think of any game, though, that where you can actually see... I mean, it's typically the loss of a performance mode or ray tracing features uh, that, that that seems to have been the, the sort of issue with making it work on, on Series S. 
I don't know, you know, is it is Series S really that much of a pain to develop for, as Steel from Work says, uh, or asks rather? It's those big games that, you know, have been challenging and some developers have been on the record to say that it has been challenging, like uh, Remedy with Alan Wake 2. But even there, the actual final product was actually really good. <laughs> I thought, this, bearing in mind the specification of the machine. And, you know, if we were sort of heading to this future where everything is basically coming off a PC development, um, you'd hope that in the fullness of time, if they're targeting you know, a handheld upwards, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. I don't know. It's it's, it's difficult. We just don't have the figures. Uh, but I can certainly see the concept of Game Pass having an influence on uh, smaller games. Um, but again, it's kind of all hearsay at the moment. I'd like to see somebody actually come forward and say, this is what's happening on Xbox for us. And this is what we'd like to see change. But it's kind of conjecture at the moment. It's just kind of like rumblings, so to speak.